Hey everyone, um, I just thought I'd make this quick video to show you how I create these images in Midjourney. Um, I share some of the prompts that I use to get images like this. Um, a couple of people were asking in the comments, so I thought I'd just make this video. Maybe it'll be helpful for you. You can create some cool cinematic images like this. Um, yeah. I'd also like to say thanks to everyone who's been subscribing and commenting on my videos and liking them. I really appreciate all the support, so thank you for that. So here we have like a cinematic picture of Superman here. I think it came out quite well. Obviously, like Mid Journey's not as great getting the hands yet, but it's pretty cool. Nice face and things like that. So usually for pictures like this, I use things like dynamic pose in the prompt, um, film still, this is really important. I experimented with different years, like if I put in 2020, like sometimes it looks too fake and futuristic, so I started putting in times like the year 2000, sometimes earlier. Yeah, so with Mid Journey, you just have to keep generating until you get what you want and experiment is what I find as well just try lots of different prompts and put them in different orders and things like that and I'll show you a little tool in a minute that I use so yeah I've got here Henry Cavill dressed as Superman not Superman itself because it would just give you a different version um, this is the prompt I find best that kind of gets the Man of Steel look and sometimes gets Henry Cavill's uh, likeness sometimes um, yeah uh, Mid Journey also struggles with action but this this here dynamic pose does help and I've kind of got some of the flying images here um, things like cinematic lighting really help film camera dramatic scene and I'll show you I've got this tool here I'll put it in I'll put it in the description, the link to it is really helpful. So you, you post you paste what you want in here in the prompt window. And it shows you your prompt. You kind of build a prompt up here. So this is what I would type in. And then you've got a medium here. So like this is if you were doing like a an art kind of post. An art generation, sorry. You would look in here like watercolor acrylic this kind of thing i don't really use that because i like to do cinematic stuff so i go to lighting different types of lighting and it, if you turn these on it changes um the generation really does change depending on what you pick but i always generally i go with like cinematic lighting and you can see it updates in here this, this tool is really handy um, you've got art movements, rendering engine, if you were going to do it in like Unity or Unreal, you wanted to replicate that kind of idea. You've also got a perspective, like if you wanted different perspectives like Arial. Just bear in mind they don't always work, but it, it kind of pushes Mid Journey to generate these kind of um, angles. So I usually go for like something like a rule of thirds perspective or yeah, aerial obviously for like the flying shots or close-ups for faces and stuff like that um so i'd pick like rule of thirds perspective there and you can see it's updated in the in the window here and you just go through you pick different things like film camera obviously and then it's updated there so you, you go through all of this uh, one thing i will say here is i always add because I think they've updated it now with the, the latest update in Mid Journey, but I go for an aspect ratio of three to two. It's not quite widescreen, but I think it does support sixteen by nine now, so you can do that. But it, it's quite handy because it adds this on at the end, so you don't have to type this in. So say that was your prompt, then you would just go copy to clipboard, put it into Discord into Mid Journey, and then you can just come back here and then tweak it, and then it, it's just much faster. So yeah, that's that's pretty handy. So yeah, that's just a quick video really. That's what I use to create the Man of Steel video. You can see here, like I've got many, many, many generations, stuff that doesn't work. Stuff sometimes it can be 
pretty funny when it doesn't work as well, but some of the images I like, but I just didn't use them. Like, uh, let's see, like stuff like this. It's kind of cool, but didn't, I didn't really feel like the face was Superman enough, if that makes sense. Uh, you've got different flying poses. Some of the things that I really liked, but they just didn't fit. Like, I kind of like the design of this. It looked kind of cool, but obviously getting into... Don't know what's going on with the hairline here, but yeah. Um, this one as well. Just trying to give... To make it look like Brainiac was attacking because action is really difficult to do in mid journey. So I was just trying to make it look like cables were kind of attacking Superman. And I think it, it came out all right, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've got lots of lots of different ones there. And uh, oh, this this one, I've kind of got it cropped in my video, but. Yeah, it's like Clark Kent ripping a shirt open to reveal Superman costume underneath, and for some reason, there's like this extra hand, like holding his cape there, which I found pretty funny. Like, where did this hand come from? But yeah, that was it, really, guys. Uh, so if you if you like the video, leave a like on it, subscribe. Like, I absolutely appreciate everybody who's doing that, and any feedback, just leave it down below for me, and I'll. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.